Well, good afternoon and welcome once again to Red's Orchids. Now today I'm in the greenhouse and I'm just checking on a few plants that uh, I'm trying to rescue. These are the bits and pieces of Chelonostelli sulfuria that uh, I must have potted up uh, about a year ago. I took them off the big plant and I finished up with quite a number of them and uh, I've never looked at them since. But I have noticed that, that some of them aren't doing very well. Some of them have been overpotted, and uh, I don't think there's any been underpotted. I think it's just overpotting that's done it. So I'm going to take them out of the pots and repot them. I mean, they've been in these pots now for well over 12 months, so uh, we'll see what they're like. Well, the first one we'll look at is uh, this one, which is. Uh, as I say, Chelina Stella Sulfuria, beautiful flowers on these, a bit like Selaginis, but very nice. This has been overpotted, and it's only potted in perlite. So we'll see what happens to it inside, see if there's any growth or anything. There's all the perlite. two new roots there, but a little bit of uh, mould on here, unless that's the dust from the perlite, which I think it is. But lots and lots of horrible dead roots. So what should I do with this? There's two roots here with uh, growing tips on them. But all these are dead at the bottom. So I'll trim that up and get that repotted. Well I've cleaned this one up the best as I can and there's uh, three nice new leaves on it there. An old leaf there, the big one. And I'm changing pots from that size of pot it was in to a much smaller one. So we'll just get that potted up now and have a look at the next one. I've put a few little bits of polystyrene in here and this is where I've got the new bark and the new perlite. So I'll put it up in this. Still look nice and steady like that. This time of year I don't think they're doing much so uh, I think I'll let this dry out for a day or two and just see what happens. Well I'll let them all dry out for a day or two because uh, it did feel quite damp. You know the old uh, the old perlite I took it out of. So that's another one done. So just put that on one side and we'll have a look at this one which has been extremely overpotted. I don't think anything's going to happen to you. I think we'll just find everything rotting at the bottom. So this might be one that uh, it goes in the dustbin. Now I haven't watered these for a long time and they're wet through. So why are they becoming so wet? I've no idea. That's a bad piece now that's gone. Another bad bulb there. All dropping off. So is this worth saving or not? I don't know. I don't like throwing them away. So what I'll do, I'll put this in a much smaller pot clean it up as best I can and uh, we'll wait another 12 months to see what happens. Might be lovely plants by then but uh, by then they might be in the dustbin. You never know. There's too many. If I start cutting here I'll be cutting some of the, uh, the good roots off. So let's just try and pull them a bit. See, uh, see what comes off. I don't think the stuff that's coming off 
would do any harm whether or not. So I'm just going to leave it at that and put that in a much smaller pot. Well, I've repotted that one up in a much smaller pot in the new bark and perlite, and this is the stuff it came out of, and it's absolutely dreadful. Awful. I can just break it with my one finger, and it's wet through and mushy. So I'm glad I've got it out of that. So that plant might be all right, you never know. And you know, time will tell. This one is exactly in the same state. It's been, uh, it's been overpotted. And it might have been overpotted because there might be a big root system down at the bottom that was, uh, I tried to grow on, but uh, I don't know. There's a new growth growing here. So we'll take it out of its spot and have a look. That's the only way to... Oh, it's nearly out of its spot. And this one is... has got some... Well, you can tell how long a distance I did it. This one's got some... Uh, moss in it. Oh, dear. I know somebody advised me to put some moss in. I said, I don't like moss. He said, put moss in for that variety. It'll grow like mad. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? Look at it. Oh. Dear, oh dear, what a mess these are. Although there's some new growth there. New root growth. And yet we'll clean this one up. Well, I've got this one potted up, and uh, I don't know, I'll put this in a much smaller pot as well. This should be much better, I think. Uh, we'll see how it goes because it's got, as I said, one new growth there. But uh, I'm not going to do any more of these uh, Chelonostelis again. Uh, I'll do them when I feel like it, but I won't put them on video. And uh, so that's three or four I've done this morning. So uh, that's enough for today. We'll have a look at something else now. Well, the heat has come on, as you can probably hear, but uh, I'm going to leave it on because it's absolutely freezing outside and it'll get cold so quickly in here that uh, I, do, I just don't switch it off. But here we have uh, another plant that's not doing very well, and it's a Phragmopedium sedenii. And I've had trouble with this for, uh, well, I have two of these, and I've had trouble with them for two years. And, uh, well, I'll just show you what I mean when I'm saying I'm having trouble with them. We've got the leaves with bright yellow marks on, there's no rings around them, so I'm not over worried about that. This one, this leaf here has gone really bad, as you can see there. So I'm thinking of uh, cutting that off. There's another bad leaf here, and there's some brown leaves under there at the bottom. So I'm going to take this out of its pot, see what's going on. I wouldn't be surprised if the roots were bad off this, but uh, the only way we're going to find out is having a look. Oh, will take the label out. Nah, not good at all. No, not good at all. As you can see, right down the bottom here, I don't think it's rot, but I'll put some dragon's blood on just to make sure. And the roots, there's no new growing tips on them. And not very nice for a Phragmopedium, that. Not very nice at all. They should be nice roots and they should be hairy. But uh, we'll put them into some new bark and see if that makes a difference. Well, I've mixed some ingredients up here for the uh, for the compost, and it's the usual stuff. It's uh, just medium-sized bark in it. There's uh, perlite in it. There's charcoal in it, and. Uh, there's quite a bit of uh, seedling grade bark in it as well. And you might be able to see one or two pieces of moss over the top there. 
that comes from ages ago when I cut it all up so I'm not bothering to pick those little pieces out it won't make much difference in fact it might even help so uh, I'll get this one potted up the plant above just hold it with the leaves banging about. A bit difficult to film it and get my hands out of the way. That's quite firm in its pot. Just leave the uh, the crown of the plant just slightly above the media. There you go, that will do for that one. So that's another one done. Hopefully this uh, new growth here, uh, I'm not, as I said before, I'm not really bothered about that yellow spot on the leaf, it could be, could be something or nothing. But it's three growths and it looks like it's flowered there from the middle, but uh, well, we'll see how it goes. We can only do our best with them, can't we? So that's Phragmopedium sedenii. Now here's another Phragmopedium that wasn't doing very well, it's a Phragmopedium grandi and uh, you can see the uh, old growth is sort of dying off, it wants, wants removing now. There's two new growths on it at the, uh, at the side there, as you can see, and uh, there's a few marks on those leaves, so I'll get these repotted and uh, see what's up. When was it last repotted this? Now look at the label. December 19. So it's been in that pot that long. So uh, it's the time it came out. I mean, the new growth doesn't look too bad. But look at the. Look at that for roots. Absolutely disgusting. And the bark's damp, wet. Oh, I think I'm losing my touch. Anyhow, we'll get this done. We'll take this off because it's unsightly and it doesn't look nice. And in the middle where I've cut off is uh, sort of a dark grey colour. So we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that leaf. The only thing now is to put a little bit of dragon's blood on there. Should stop anything happening there. And I think we'll pop this up in a much smaller pot as well. Because there's, there's, there's no roots there that, I mean, the ones that you can see are hard, but uh, there's no growth on them at all.
Don't we'll pop this up in the uh, the same medium I made for the Sedenai, Sedenai, and uh, we'll get this one potted up. It's only in a six centimetre pot, and that should do quite well for it. So, never mind. There's worse things to lose than that. If you know what I mean. Let's plant this slightly above. Make sure it's all filled up. Do that by tapping. Lots of people do it by twisting, but the roots aren't good enough to twist on this one. So we can get it standing up straight. There we are. That'll do. And we'll put the label back. And keep your fingers crossed for that one. Well, I'll end it there and say thank you very much to, for everybody who's watched this uh, video. I know it's not much of a, uh, information in it, but uh, there's just sorts of bits of things that needs doing. And uh, you might as well video them as you're doing it. So thanks very much for watching, thanks to all my subscribers, and until next time I hope everybody's well, and I'll see you later.